Are you ready to try another example? Well, let's try this one. So straight away, we can see that this 81, this 14, and this 63, and this 4 cannot be combined because they are exponents. However, if we had to drop each of those numbers to their prime numbers, what we would see is that they do have some similarity. So let's do that. And so 81, well, that's the same as 3 to the power of 4. 14, that's the same as 2 times 7. 63 is the same as 3 squared times by 7. And 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2. Now what we can do, remember the exponent rule says that if you have a power like that, then you multiply. And so if I multiply these over here, well, that's going to give 3 to the power of 4x minus 4 times by 2 to the power of 2x, that's because this is a 1, then this 7 is also ha also has an exponent of 1, and so that's going to be 1 times 2x, which is 2x, moving down to the denominator. Well, this 2, if you multiply it with 2x, is going to become 3 to the power of 4x, and then 7 to the power of 2x. And then the last part will be 2 to the power of 2x. So look what has just happened. We have gone from having numbers which had nothing to do with each other. And now all of a sudden we've got all these 3s everywhere. We've got some 7s popping up. And we've got 2s. And so in fact, those four numbers that we looked at in the beginning. And so now what we can do is because we've got bases that are the same, we can combine them. And so let's have a look at these 3s. Well, and so the exponent rule says that if these, ex if these bases are the same, the 3s, then we can subtract the exponents. And that's going to be 4x minus 4 minus 4x. Then I'm going to do the 2s next, which is going to be 2 to the power of 2x minus 2x. And then the 7 is going to be 7 to the power of 2x minus 2x. And so if we look at this over here, this is going to cancel. And so we're going to be left with 3 to the minus 4. This is going to cancel, and so we're going to be left with 2 to the power of 0. And this is going to cancel, and so we're going to be left with 7 to the power of 0. 2 to the power of 0 and 7 to the power of 0 is just 1, so we can ignore that. And then, so we're left with a final answer of 3 to the minus 4. But remember, we never want to leave our answer with a negative exponent, and so we're going to have to take that 3 to the 4 to the bottom. And then if there's nothing left over at the top, you can just put a 1. And then, if you would like, 3 to the power of 4 is 81, and so your answer can be 1 over 81.